Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in the Latvian town of Sigulda. That's the town's new castle there. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the town's old castle. If you wanna see my walk around the rest of the town, including going on Latvia's only cable car across the river, then have a look at link on screen now. In that video, I'll show you the rest of the town. But in this video, we're gonna have a look around the castle. I decided there was quite a lot to see here, so it deserved a video in its own right. So what actually happened was I came through here that's the ticket office, that's the toilet, so I just paid to go in. It cost me two euros to go into this ruin, and then I literally went down there to start the video, and because I like to look at the bridge. So, the new castle there, this is the old castle. Now, parts of it have been reconstructed. This is the gatehouse. It's not all original. We'll see inside which parts they've reconstructed. The castle itself dates back to about 1207, I understand. Oh yeah, look, there's a model of it. That's what we're gonna see in a minute. I'll take you in there and go up to the top. But if we go into here first, see some more of the ruins. We'll have a look around though, that part of the ruins in a minute. There's a couple of interpretation boards over here, which will show us what the castle would have once looked like. So we have just come, well, we were technically down there and was just coming to here. I don't know how well it's showing on camera. Um, if you can see that, and then that's the great hall. So there's a load of information there. It was the headquarters of the Livonian Brothers of the Sword. That's the main, when the castle was built between 1207 and 1209. Admittedly, I am reading that off there. It was abandoned during what was called the Northern War in 1700. So there's another tower over there. We're gonna go back into this tower. You can see how they've reconstructed part of, in wood, part of the battlement. So let's go around there. We'll go up right up to the top of both towers. Have a good look around. It is really, really cold. It's probably about minus five, minus six, maybe minus ten tonight. So yeah, it's a cold day, but it's a nice day and it's good fun for exploring castles. Let's go up here. The stairs continue up there. We'll do that in a minute. Let's go in here. Here. They've reconstructed a portcullis. The portcullis would go down, stop anyone who was unwelcome from coming into the castle. And there's a giant throne, I suppose you can sit there and have your picture taken. Don't go worry about that. Let's go further up the tower. So that's where we've just come from. Down there, we're going up there. little bits of snow on the stairs so the building isn't locked up at night um, as in the windows are open so it's, it's still really a ruin but they've put these stairs in so you can go inside get to here little cannon there so yeah they've reconstructed this uh, so we get to here I'll look at this there's a, a picture there that's this building when it was a complete ruin so I think if you look at this you can see these windows aren't original. I think this is the newer side. That's the original side. So yeah, this is all, all new, but it's nice. They've reconstructed parts of it so we can have a look around up here now. It's very cold in here. It's not a place to go to keep warm. I'm gonna have to find someone to get tea or coffee after this, but it's definitely worth it. We can just come into this big room up here. And uh, that looks actually quite inviting to sit on this. Wow, this is nice and comfortable. If it wasn't so cold, it feels like you could sleep up here, but maybe in the summer. Great fun having like a big medieval banquet up here. Now we're gonna go back down. Not all the way down the way we came, because we can get out onto the battlements and we'll have a look at the castle from there on another reconstructed part of the castle and then we'll go over to the other tower where we should get some really quite nice views over the valley so that'll be quite exciting go to here and into daylight now look at this it's, it's actually quite impressive wooden structure in itself this reconstructed battlement so imagine during times of war 
men stood here with their bows and arrows firing out over there. Of course, the Newcastle wouldn't have been there today. There's a ton of weapons. There's a few icicles which the camera's not picking out hanging there. If you get a nice view across the castle, so you can see the ruins of the Great Hall there, and then there's the tower. I appreciate the sun is under light exposure, it's not very good, and because it's so white with snow, it's not really working, is it? Let's go down. We'll go down there though, and I'll be able to show it to you properly. I think it's quite a nice structure though. I do like this wooden structure. I just wish it was a bit warmer. My hands, by the time I finish making this video, are going to be frozen to the camera, I think. If you have a look, look at that. All this snow that's blown into here. And then there's the ruin of the Great Hall. This will take us down. So really, if they hadn't have done a lot of this reconstruction, there'd just be a few sort of fragmentary ruins. I think, you know, we can see a difference there, look. So that's the, re that's the original, I think, that's been repointed. That's probably the reconstruction. So you can see, you know, they've kind of done this to give you a better idea of what the castle would have been like. So we're down here now. That's the Great Hall, it's fenced off, so I won't go in through that arch. Yeah, that's, that looks reconstructed as well. So the only thing I do find a bit hard is it's quite hard to work out what is actually historic and what's a rebuild, but at least there's a ruin of a castle here. We'll go up those steps and we'll be able to see the other side or we'll see into the Great Hall. So the river, um, which I, I'm going to put the river's name on screen now because I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, it's directly down there. So we'll see the gorge and that's what I said. It's a cable car which takes you across, which I did in the other video. We can go up these steps now. So we were up there a moment ago and up in those battlements. We're going up, up here now. This is fairly obviously a modern structure which we put here so we can get up to have a look into the Great Hall. It looks like that over there, they effectively built like a theatre. So perhaps in, I think in the summer, they have concerts and everything in the castle. So there we go. Look, there's the interior of the Great Hall. I expect, um, well, we'll see when we get there, that it looks as though there'd have been a floor about where my hand is, and that would have been a big Great Hall. There had banquets, medieval dances, everything that happened in there. The path kind of abruptly ends there. Whether they're going to one day make a path around there, I don't know. I'm starting to see see how we're kind of on a bit of a... We've got the gorge all around us. Let's go over to the tower, though. The big tower. And that's where oh, we should get some really nice views over the gorge. If you would like to come visit the Gorda, it's about an hour by train from Riga. So I'm staying in Riga. Also made a few videos there in Riga and today probably nice to come for a little day out, get away from the city for a bit. It's a lovely city Riga, but I, I like to get away from it for a bit. But we'll come out to this town, Sigulda. I read about it, it sounded really nice. It is really nice. They say it's um, Latvia, Switzerland. It certainly doesn't have the altitude of Switzerland, but it's clearly got the snow like Switzerland. And I suppose the scenery could be reminiscent of it. I don't know how well the camera's picking it out, but over there is one of the other castles. There were three castles in this triangle, two on the other side of the river. The other castle, which belonged to the Archbishop of Latvia, there's not much to see of that one, but we did see that one in my Sigurda video. I had a look around the ruins of that castle. So we're now heading down across what would have been sort of the bailey of the castle towards this other tower. So imagine, what we see over there, that wall, there'd have probably been a wall like that all the way around. And there probably would have been another tower in the corner, at least to sort of got to, just sort of using my imagination to try and, you know, tell you how the castle would have looked. Now this, again, is a ruin. You can see they've got a wooden structure. So that wood, not, wooden structure there is not medieval. I think it's a ruin. They built the structure inside to enable us to go up to the top and have a look at the views, which I think is, is quite good. So if you want to imagine what it looked like, pretend that's not there, that's what it looked like. So as I say, I quite like how they have, you know, constructed these parts inside, giving us the opportunity 
to go up the towers rather than just stand and look at the ruins. So here we are inside now. There's a lift in here. This is out of order. So we're gonna have to walk. We've got a lot of walking up. I'm not gonna count the steps, but a lot of wooden steps to walk up. This is quite fun. One thing I always find in Eastern Europe, Northern Europe, they love their lookout towers. It's not something we have a great deal of in the UK. I mean, this is a bit different because it's a castle, but quite often you'll be out for a walk in Eastern Europe and on the top of the hill, there'll be a lookout tower, which I wish we did more of in the UK. But it's you know, nice to enjoy it here. So see when you get to here, you've got the wall, but we start to see the view now where a big chunk has disappeared. So looking out, that's looking out across the gorge. The cable car runs across there. We'll see more though when we get to the top. We can go right to the top, like pretty much up into the loft and we we'll, should see some good views. We're kind of on the got to the top now of the masonry ruins and you can now see the wooden structure. See how it now juts out to give us that big balcony on top. So I think we've got one more, no, we've got two more floors, at least two more floors, I'm surprised it's three. No, this is just, this is the penultimate floor. So this is the biggest floor, but we can go into the loft as well. So if we stand here, you can see the rest of the castle. So we were up there to start with, we came in, go look at the Great Hall. This gives you an idea of the River Valley here. We're in this castle. We are actually in this tiny little tower here. It looks really tiny. There's the castle over there on the other side of the river. And that one, that's the one I looked at. There's only really this little bit here left. That tiny bit there is all that's left. I looked at that in my Segalda video. So, um, the other castle is just there. The light's not working, I appreciate. Um, so, let's see if we can see here. The light will show us the river. There you go. Now I don't know how obvious it is, there's actually massive, massive pieces of ice flowing down the river. And when I was in the cable car, I could see them breaking up as they went over the, over the rapids. And there was a bridge down there as well. So you can walk if you want to. We're now coming to the very top. This is the top where, we're in the loft, look. We're up in the loft. There's a view. Across the castle and then here's the view looking that way again the other castle it's completely hidden behind the trees that is over there and then a view looking down to the river and one final view from the loft of this castle looking out right across the gorge so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from the old castle at segalda with a fantastic view goodbye